It's one drink driver off West Yorkshire's roads, but unfortunately, he's not the only one. Oh look, do you think that's it there? Yeah, look like it. Chris Percy and Tom Gallick arrive at the scene of a crash BMW. The car is a complete write-off and it looks like everyone has legged it. How on earth has that just come across here? Before joining the force, Chris was in the Merchant Navy and also a driving instructor. But whoever was at the wheel of the Beamer needs a few more lessons. It's a better guy on that whole camper. Chris inspects the wreckage, and this wise interceptor has a good idea as to the cause of the accident. They're probably looking at the, the glasses in the car, they've probably been drinking, they might have been taking drugs as well. The car is recovered. Oh, oh. Oops, the lamppost made safe, and Chris and Tom leave the scene. Yeah, we see. There's no rest for the boys as they receive reports of yet another suspected drink driver. We've got a car crashed into the roundabout. Um, I think he's found us. Still sat in his car, said so the he's been drinking. So we're just on route to that, find out what's happened. Chris approaches the roundabout and they spot a man in what they believe is the suspect motor. Strange, he's still sat in his car. What's his. Uh, had to do something stupid. Just as they're approaching the car, they see the man exit the driver's door. Go get him. Go get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. The suspect walks away from the car, but Tom is onto him in a flash. Excuse me, come here, come here, come here, mate. Hello? Come here, mate. You alright, mate? Do you ring us? I didn't ring you, no. Yeah, come and sit in that car. Okay. Anybody else in the car? You just grab me a meal at road. <laughs> Tom checks for passengers, and there's one of the furry kind. Oh, there's a dog. Oh, there's a massive dog in the car. Is it? Is it your dog? Hey. What's the dog called? Hey. What's your dog called? What do you mean? The man denies any knowledge of a dog, despite it being in the car he's just got out of. Chris is confused about the man's behaviour. Why have you just sat in there and waiting for us to arrive and then decide to run off when we get there? That's odd behaviour. The lad is denying having been in the vehicle. You, you literally just ran across the road and grabbed me. We got a car keys. From what vehicle? From this car. You just come out from. How am I? You've literally right. just picked me up from around corner. Yeah, no problem. As they saw him leave the car, Chris wants a breath test. I just want you to uh, point this machine for us. Are you going to do it? Are you going to give us a sample of breath? However, the man insists he's not been in the car. I've seen you get out of that car. I so I have as well. And I, w I require a sample of breath from you for analysis, OK? And if you refuse... Okay. Listen, so, listen no! to me. Listen let's to me. Let's rewind a minute. You two have seen me walk out. Yes, let's rewind a minute. Chris and Tom have seen the man in the car. And the camera has also caught him exiting, but he won't back down. So I've just walked we've out seen, that We've car seen you get out of that car. car. It's all on camera. How have you? Show me camera. Right. Are you refusing Show to give us a sample of... Just see me. Stop. Are you refusing to give us a sample of breath? Are you going to run to this machine? Until you have shown me that you've seen me out, step out of that car, I'm not doing anything. But there's no instant replay for this chap, and Chris is left with no choice. You're not going to go to this machine, are you? No, I'm not. I'm right, not, OK? I'll blow into it. At this moment in time, you're under arrest. What for? Section 4 of the Road Traffic Act. Pass him your arm. What for? And the roadside breath test isn't the only thing he's resisting. Before he starts hurting me... Listen, you're under arrest now. What for? Stop resisting. Stop driving over the prescribed limit. I'm not driving anymore. They managed to get him cuffed, but he's still acting up. 
Look how tight that is. You're refusing to cooperate with us. Refusing to cooperate? Yeah, you've been it's, argumentative. I yeah. am now. So the man seems fine with Tom. Your mate here, look. He's no problem. But well, not a big fan of Chris. No. You want to argue, don't you? It's about... You want to cause a problem. That is better, mate. Thank you very much, mate. You're a good man. He's a bad one. Good cop, bad cop good routine, bad. yeah. Yeah. You all right? Stood there with him? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's fine. He's fine. I'm relaxed. Some strange behaviour, this. A van arrives to take him down the nick. And good cop breaks the bad news. I'm, I'm walking, you, you're um, going to be taken to Bradford Police Station. I'm going to be taken to Bradford. What for? Do you want a quick pat down? Quick pat down. Pockets, fella. I've got nothing at all, mate. And you are going to look, no matter what I say, what have I done wrong? Excuse me, what have I done wrong? Come on, mate. The suspect is still denying being in the car, and he doesn't seem very keen on getting in the van either. Getting in. Tom escorts the suspect downtown, and Chris is left to deal with the canine that's currently locked in the car. What will you do with this dog? <laughs> he thinks the suspect dumped the car keys, however, they're nowhere to be seen. But help is at hand. It's locked and there's a dog in the car. <laughs> I could pop a window. No. Oh, it's still gonna work, it. You're a beauty, aren't you? Hey, look at you. We've got someone coming for you. The dog is on its way to the police kennels. The car is heading to the recovery yard and Chris is station bound. Let's go. Well, the man is in the evidential breath test room. Have you brought my service record up? I haven't. I don't no. know anything about that. The suspect claims to have a military past, but Chris tries to run through the situation. OK, you're under investigation for showing the suspect who has been in charge of a motor vehicle on the road since the time of the alleged offence. Sydney. Consumed or used any of the following things, and if so, what? Alcohol or other drink? But there's a problem. I'll speak to military police only. The man is once again refusing to cooperate. Give me a rank of the military, and I will do what I am told. Chris tries to soldier on. I require you to provide two specimens of breath for analysis. No! By means of an no! Right. Do you agree to provide two specimens of breath, breath for an analysis? What rank are you? Do you agree to provide two specimens of breath for I analysis? I demand a rank according to mine. I demand a sergeant. I take it that's a no. The man refuses to provide a sample, and it's been a bizarre encounter for the boys. He's up and down one minute, he's starts to calm down the next minute he's violent and angry and he's already disqualified from driving so it looks like he's having some some long term issues strange behaviour wasn't it yeah. the crashed BMW was reported stolen by its owner it wasn't recovered and was therefore sent to be scrapped it couldn't be proven the suspect was the driver of the car however he was convicted of failure to provide he received 135 hours of unpaid work and was disqualified for 42 months. The dog was reunited back with its owner. Coming up. Bubba, 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 bubba. The interceptors swoop on a dodgy motor. Bop. And Tony comes to the aid of a naked driver. Put these on. You're going to put these on. I'm walking off. 